Hey y'all, Dylan here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can scrape 50,000 leads for your business using N810 and an automated workflow. It will not only get the emails of your leads, it will go to your leads website, analyze what they do, and then generate a one-line icebreaker to connect what they do with the services that you provide. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into the demo, shall we? All right, so we have the automated workflow here using NA10, and uh, we are gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. What we're gonna do is we're also gonna go over here to Apify. Apify is a service that will be able to scrape data for you, and we're using the Apollo Scraper here. It's running the background, and all I did was make a simple Apollo search for just a few leads, just to show you what this thing looks like. And what we're gonna be doing here inside of this example lead flow, we have all of this data that's gonna be compiled. First name, last name, job title, organizational size, and we can see already it's populating in. And uh, if we look at this right here, we can see that this is looping through. It's analyzing the website and it's gonna create a content based upon what the website is, along with a one line icebreaker. We can see this getting populated across uh, for this company here. And we can see that this is for Adam and we have a nice little introduction on who Adam is, what they do, and uh, connecting our services to theirs. And this is gonna loop through over and over again with every single one of your leads all the way up to 50,000 leads for your business. I'm gonna go ahead here and uh, show you what this looks like. And we can see this thing looping all the way through here. And we're gonna just go ahead and wait till this finishes. All right, you can see it just completed here. And if we scroll down here, we can see all the customized messages that just got sent. And if we look here at this appetite actor, by going to the actor, you can see that we can scrape up to 50,000 leads per URL search. So all you really need to do is put in uh, a target group that comes up to 50,000 total inside of here. Put that link inside of here and then go ahead and hit start. In order to connect Appify to NA10, what we're gonna need to do is have a webhook. The way that we create this webhook, just so you can see here, is we go into integrations and we can see here that we have one that's already connected up and it says that's enabled inside of here. And we can do this by putting this on run succeeded. You see the different ones that we have here? And so we have when the run succeeds, that's when we want to send the data across to NADN. Once we have this webhook in place, right inside of here, and we know that the way to create a webhook here is go and hit this plus sign, type in webhook, and then be able to drag this over and across just like that. Now, in order to get the data set of Apify here, so when it completes, we grab that data, we need to create an HTTP HTTP request. So HTTP request, drag this over here. We can see like that, just like that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this just so you can see what this is. And the way that we do this is we need to get this URL. We can see here that Avify has this amazing little drop down of this API for getting endpoints. And we can scroll down here to the bottom where it says get last runs data set. And we can go ahead and copy that. And we copy that, we can bring that over here and paste this in and you'll be able to now be able to get that data set of all the actual data that you want. Uh, we're then now connecting it up here to the Google Sheets and inside this Google Sheet, we can have, uh, we are connecting in this by URL and you can see that we are simply just dragging these over like this to be able to match them up all the way across to the bottom. We're gonna be leaving the website content in icebreaker blank because we're gonna be saving that for the looping pattern. We wanna have this loop over time. This will then do another HTT request, which will be going to the website. And we're using this looping items uh, module and connecting it from the website. So you can see here where it's looping through each one by one. And we're connecting this website one right into here. Once we do that, we have this HTML module and we are simply using the key data and we are uh, using this asterisk to select all of the data from the website inside of here. We then pass that through to OpenAI and with the OpenAI module here, we are just asking it to analyze the website for offer, target audience, pain points, unique sales position, and then providing all of the data. Once we get that, that data out, we want to then be able to add this back inside of here, uh, which will then append or upsert this data right here into the section. And then when we go back into this section here with OpenAI, we're now gonna analyze the first name, the city, the state, the website details, 
and, and then generate a one line icebreaker. Now, with this, you can put any amount of data that you want inside of here. Honestly, it's, it's data, uh, AI is as good as the data it's provided. And so here we give it a couple of points, you know, location, name, job, but you can really feed it as much data as you would like to be able to make this thing be really intelligent and create those very personalized introductions. Once we're using that to then generate that one line icebreaker inside of here, you can see that we are, we're matching, we're using the unique the URL to match the columns. And this is one thing that's really important with this is there needs to be a way for us to be able to match up each one of these columns to then reinsert the data. And then that the way that we're doing that is every LinkedIn here has a unique address. And we're using this as the key, unique L, uh, LinkedIn URL to match this inside of here. And then we're just dumping the data back inside of, in, inside of here so that we can add in the additional information. Now, once we do that, we loop all the way through, right? Looking, looking at the website over here, looking at um, generate that a breakdown of what the website is, adding that back into the document, and then using AI to then analyze that again, and then create that one line icebreaker. This is how it loops through. And uh, this is the entire process. It's very simple, very straightforward, but also very powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this, this quick run through of how this system works. If you'd like me to build a system like this for you, I'll have a link to book me in the description down below, and I'm happy to set this up for you. And um, if you would like this actual workflow, uh, comment down below that you are interested in this workflow, and I will go ahead and make it available to all of you. Thank you so much. Have a great and blessed day, and I will see you on the other side. Bye now.